Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about how you can actually add a sitemap to your Google Search Console, your Bing Search Console, and how you can add like a, a HTML sitemap to your Duda website, right? Um, this is a really simple video, quick video, um, quick bit of knowledge, but it may help you guys when you're uh, submitting, well, when you're publishing new sites, if you're website designers, you wanna publish a site and then submit the site to Google. Um, and you wanna kind of tell Google um, to index these pages, this website, inside of their system, inside of their search, um, inside of their search system, right? So what do I mean by this? What do I mean by this? So what this means is when you kind of type up say for example let, so this is a quick technique that you can do for your website you can type in site like this and you can do that and oh, do that and you can do the the url and it'll basically tell you all the different pages that have been indexed on your site in google right so as you can see here you can go through and you've got all the different pages that have been indexed currently in google right so the the value of this, right, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you submit your, um, well, to do this, you want to make sure that you submit your site map to Google, right? Um, and how you do this is, first of all, let me just explain what a site map is. So you just head over to your, say, we'll just use this example, right? So we go to this page here, and then we go slash, and we go sitemap.xml, right? And this basically shows um, all of the different URLs on this website, right? And you usually can find this on a lot of the sites that you come across. It's an issue if uh, if they don't have it. Um, I know every Duda site should have one because every Duda site comes with a sitemap. Um, but for example, if you're working with WordPress or something like that, something like that, um, that nature, um, usually you'd have to download like Yoast or simple sitemap plugins to add that sitemap onto the website, right? So this is a really, uh, foundational um, uh, tip that you can ha have on your site, right? But it's, it's massively important. Um, the foundational uh, systems that build up an SEO campaign are probably the most important um, important parts of an SEO campaign, right? And that's why we have this checklist that you can use if you'd like. Um, if you can download it in, well, if you head to the link in the description below, which is my Facebook group, you join my Facebook group, you'll be able to get this checklist inside the Facebook group. I am updating it. I'm adding some more things to it because they are slightly outdated, some of the things in here. Um, but uh, I'll let you guys know when I do that. Okay, so grab that site map, uh, grab the checklist. It will basically cover all the different things like XML sitemap exists, XML sitemap submitted search console. So you don't forget next time you publish a new website or if you're conducting an SEO campaign and you're starting out, first of all, go through all these different foundational things because these could hinder the progress of your SEO campaign later down the line, right? So how do we submit a sitemap? So you head over to your Google Search Console, so just type up Google Search Console. You need a Google account to uh, have a Google Search Console, obviously. Um, and then you also need the code. You need to take the code that they provide you when you sign up and add it to your header um, of your Duda site, right? Um, so if you don't know how to do this, let me know and I'll send you some instructions on how to add the actual Google Search Console code in your Duda site, right? And this, what this enables is uh, Google to track the performance and the rankings and things like that of your site. Um, it's just like a, it's just a must have if you're conducting an SEO campaign, even if you're, you know, uh, just a website designer and you have websites on your like hosting platform on your Duda account, um, you should install Google Search Console and Google Analytics, even if the client doesn't use them. It's just good practice, right? I'd highly recommend it. Okay, so what you want to do is head over to Google Search Console, you've added the code, you've got your Google account, and now you're inside the dashboard, and it looks like this. So you want to go over to sitemaps down here, <clears throat> and then you want to go, um, you remember the URL that I showed you earlier? So you take that URL, <clears throat> so we've already done it before, so you go over to the URL, so you've got sitemap.xml when you do the site. It Sometimes these sitemaps can look different, so don't be alarmed, so sometimes sitemaps can look like, uh, let's just show you an example. Um, depending on the system that you're using, the, uh, you know, the, um, 
the uh, CRM. So depend, depending on the um, content management system, sorry, uh, that you're using, um, CMS, sorry, um, content management system, not your CRM, they may look like, uh, they may come in different formats, right? So, you know, Yoast SEO, they give you a sitemap that looks like this. So you've got, um, it's kind of laid in different categories, which is a bit more easier to read. So you've got page sitemap down here. You've got a uh, post sitemap in here. Um, so these are, you know, it's the same thing really. I like these ones a bit more, obviously, but this is on WordPress, so um, it's it's different. It's quite easier to read though, I find. You know, there's different categories and things like that. However, if you're using Duda or something of that nature, they sometimes come like this, which is harder to read, but it does the same thing at the end of the day. <clears throat> okay, so you wanna submit that sitemap, so you go take that URL and just pub, put it in here and then go submit. And it should come up like this, and it will tell you, you know, um, you know, uh, the last spread and you know submitted. If there's any errors, if there's errors, um, you probably want to contact like an SEO. Um, I'd recommend, you know, speaking to an SEO specialist about that if there are errors and things like that. So there is one error here that's coming up a no index tag on one of the pages. So we've asked uh, Google not to crawl a certain page. Um, and I'll, I'll get into that in another video if you are, you know, in, interested in learning about no index tags and things. Okay. So that's basically it, right? You simply submit the sitemap nine times out of 10, there won't be any, you know, major issues, right? They will come up with things like this, but if you, if you kind of know your stuff, um, you know, that this isn't a huge issue. You know, if you're, you, we've purposely no index this page, so it will come up. It's just you know informing you that this page has got a no index tag. But sometimes you know it's happened to me before. I've accidentally left the no index tag on on the Duda on one of our pages, one of our main pages, and then wonder why you know it wasn't showing up showing up in Google, right? So sometimes they do let you know, which is really nice. Um, what pages aren't being indexed? Um, just in case you've missed any or you know something like that um, just in case you're wondering why the pages aren't ranking um, so yeah so once you've indexed once you've submitted that sitemap you can go after it won't um, crawl the site straight away. well it won't show up in Google straight away but what you can do is you can go over to the site uh, like I showed you earlier you can go site like that and go and you can see all the different listings. And over time, if you just keep on checking this over the next couple of days, you start to see different pages uh, coming up in the um, in you know in the search results, right? In the SERP, right? Okay, so that is how you submit a site map to Google. Now, a while back, I had a URL and it wasn't showing up um, for quite a while, even though I submitted the sitemap multiple times, um, it still wasn't showing up. So what you can do, if you want to take it, you, you know, you know, you want to nudge Google to kind of index a site, um, you want to take it a bit further. What you can do is you can take the URL <coughs> and you can put it in this search bar up here, and then you can go uh, request indexing, right? And I forgot to mention any time that you're, you know you know, it's not only, you don't have to, you know, you shouldn't submit the sitemap only when you publish the site, right? You should submit the sitemap when you've changed the site, maybe you've changed your pages, maybe you've added pages, maybe you've taken away pages. You should always submit the sitemap, any changes that you make to the site, right? It's just good practice, right? Um, you can also request indexing once you've changed a specific page if you'd like to. If a page is taking a while to um, index, even though you submitted the sitemap, sometimes you know requesting indexing that specific URL, that specific page, will you know sometimes give it a little nudge or show up um, in the indexing results. However, we can't guarantee every page will be indexed in Google, right? We never know. You know they could have these. We don't know the full algorithm and how it works of Google. We don't know um, how they, you know, look at sites and decide whether ones should be indexed or not. Um, but nine times out of ten, if your website is healthy, if the site is live or the site, the page is healthy, if it's, you know, everything's good to go on it, you know, it's secure, it will index in Google, right? However, there is the off chance it will just randomly decide not to, you know, index your page. So you kind of just have to, I mean, there are different ways of helping a site, a page to index, like sending links to it, 
Um, there's platforms out there that can help um, third party platforms that can help index your site as well. I don't know if they're effective or not. I've never had to use them. Um, you know, sending links, social media posts and things like that, linking back to the page. I mean, there's lots of different techniques you can do, but nine times out of 10, the most effective way of indexing your site and indexing pages is using the Google tools themselves. Um, apart from that, you know, I haven't gone, I can't really give any advice further on from that really. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then move on to the Bing. Obviously Bing, you know, it covers a small amount you know, obviously Google is, you know, the market, she, you know, owns like, I can't remember how much it is, like 97% of the market, you know, is Google in terms of the searching, um, you know, search engine industry, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, Bing still owns a small percent of it, right? So people still use Bing. So it is important to jump onto Bing, jump onto Bing Search Console, and then submit a sitemap there as well. So we head down to the site or the page, <coughs> And we go to sitemaps, okay, and then we can add the sitemap, submit a sitemap up here, and then it's the same system, enter the URL, submit sitemap, um, and there you have it, right? I think you can also do the similar thing um, with Google URL submission, so you can add uh, specific URLs and stuff like that. Um, or URL Explorer maybe. I don't really know too much about Bing Search Console. I don't really use it too much. Um, but uh, it is good. It's a similar kind of format. Same kind of stuff really. You can look at um, how they do like keyword research and backlinks and stuff, which is quite nice. Site scan. Oh, interesting. Um, I might have to check that out a bit more. And obviously the same in here. So you can check all the, you know, CTR and things like that, clicks and stuff like that, um, which is quite nice. So that's how you submit a sitemap to Bing and Google Search Console, right? Um, and now, how do you create a sitemap in your Duda website, right? So, okay, so what we've done with Florida TMS Clinic, for example, <clears throat> is we've created a simple sitemap uh, down here. So as you can see, uh, quick links, you click on here, and it just covers all the different pages in um, in our website, right? So it makes, you know, sometimes users like to use this. Um, it, it helps user experience if they want to find a specific page that they can't find. Um, so they can go through here and flick through all the different pages, right? So how did I do this? Really simple. So if you go head over to Duda, <coughs> and you go dashboard, so we're on the client's account here. And we go to edit. Okay. So you head over to pages. We go sitemap. So all I did to make this sitemap was I simply added something called navigation links, right? And these are basically um, a widget that you can get. If you head over to widgets and you type up navigation links, <clears throat> and you can basically uh, drag them into here. You click on click on them here. Let's just click on this one. You go edit content, and you can create the custom links. So you have two options. You can uh, do the standard site pages, which will basically give you all the pages in the site, right? Or you can do custom links, right? So you can say, all right, I want just the links on the our services section. So we've got all the our services section links, and we've added them here, right? Just like that. So as you can see, site pages, custom links, right? Um, we've done the same down here, learning hub, site pages, custom links, and so on, right? That's it, that's all you need to do. That's the site map for you. Um, you wanna add that in the footer down here, make sure it's there. Um, and that is covered in the checklist as well. So we say, um, I believe we say, um, breadcrumbs, uh, where do we say it? I think it's up here actually. So we say HTML sitemap created, HTML sitemap in footer. That's it, really. Okay, so that's how it's done. Um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, if you want the checklist, go over to my, uh, head over to my Facebook group and you'll be able to get in there. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.